Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Sorry for the stutter there, but thanks to Aaron at Goat Throne Records, we have a 1991 classic demo from Texas. Indignation, Words of Deceit. Just look at that cover art. Goat Throne Records and Hales Decrepancy. This shirt is badass. Fucking A. That shit's sick. But yeah, Indignation. This is one of those death metal demos that's just absolutely so sick. It's better than some bands' full lengths. It's just really, really good. Imagine, like, Sadus meets Necrovore and, like, Morbid Angel came around and, like, just, like, hung out. It's got that, like, vibe to it. Like, kind of like Mike Browning error. Morbid Angel vocal vibes. Not, like, Nocturnus vocal vibes. Like, just kind of... That early Morbid Angel, like, kind of evil sounding, and it's super, super real, fucking cool, honestly. And Words of Deceit, just, hell yeah. You get ancient sounding American death metal. From good old Texas. Recording at Elephant Tracks in San Antonio, 1991. All music by Indignation. And in the very late 80s, Indignation was formed by Matt Hernandez, Mike Hernandez, and Carl Snyder. John, John Zarte, or Zarte was then recruited to handle drums and then bailed. Enter Javier Vigeras, so ex Necrovore and Hell Preacher. I didn't know that. That's badass. Javier lasted for a while, but he left the band. And then we have Louis Carcells, or calls it Carcells. I'm sorry. He had just left Devastation. And uh, yeah, it sounds like that was the lineup for the demo. Because after the release of this demo, Eden is out of the band. Carl leaves the band next. The band continues on, but ends the error of the early days of indignation new members join and new recordings are made that is a story for another time it's a great reissue classic death metal and if that's what you're a fan of this is the real deal no bullshit straightforward to the jugular texas death metal it's sick And you'll notice a lot of similarities also, I feel, with Eaten Back to Life Error, Cannibal Corpse. Just with the thrashy death metal vibes like and even the vocals like he doesn't really sound like barnes on here he sounds more like abominations of desolation error mike browning but like you know there's parts on here like one of the reasons i like this demo so much is like there's just like certain riffs that like remind me of like edible autopsy and like the undead will feast like just sick shit from like you know one of my favorite early 90s death metal albums, Eating Back to Life. I mean, I'm sure that's on everybody's short list, but it's obviously on mine. But Indignation, Words of De Deceit, this to me is essential. If you're a fan of early 90s death metal demos, check this out. 
because I got hit up earlier asking about like death metal demos, but I didn't know really what the person meant. Like they were just naming like new bands and stuff. But I kind of wanted to be like, hey, like, go check out, like, you know, like, Flesh Grind, like, especially. They have really, like, I, I love their demos. Cyanide, like, the Body Bag demo. Like, there's a lot of it, Infestors demo. There's a lot of good shit from, like, you know, probably 89 to 93, I feel, was, like, a great, like, couple years for death metal demos. But this is one that... For me, like, I honestly didn't hear until, like, semi-recently and just fell in love with it. Like, thrashing death metal, I love when it's done right, and this is done extremely well. It has a stamp of the times with the artwork and just with the production and with the riffs, the vocals. I fucking love every little bit about this. It's just a fun five tracks of death metal and if that's all you're looking for this has everything you could possibly want like it rips like again you could be brand new to death metal and this is a demo you could get into Indignation from Texas. Nice windowless hard shell on Goat Throne Records. Not sure if this is sold out or not, but I will put a link in the video description for you psychopaths. And as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Thank you again to Aaron at Goat Throne Records for sending so much gnarly shit over i still have to go over a couple of releases and i can't wait to because they're all bad ass and yeah thanks for watching hail